Well, my bait's doing the right job. I just ain't doing the right job. So I think what I need to do is set me a trap on the backside, rebait this thing, and catch this coat. Problem is, it looks like he's digging. I wonder if he felt my pen or my that jaw move right there. Went around the backside. He's definitely scratched it. I gotta put an end to this. I ain't caught a coyote here yet, and that's no good. Oh yeah, y'all. We got another big beaver down. Can you see him through the water there? You can't see anything, can you? Really? You can kind of see him. That's a, that's another good sized beaver. Right in here. Anyway, it really surprised me. All these beavers I've caught out of this coming and going into this lodge. And the lodge, there's nothing. There's no new sticks. I even tried to look in there. I mean, you can kind of see through some holes and stuff. It's just. Holy cow, let's see my fall. That, that doesn't look like an active lodge, honestly, you know. There's a little bit of chewing on that other side, which I got a conner bear sitting on that other side. You can see my, you can see my stabilizer right there. Um, nothing, no activity there whatsoever. Uh, and there's not a pile of fresh sticks, so I don't know if they're just coming and patrolling by here, and they've got another lodge somewhere else, or if, or what's going on. But that's uh, I think that's number seven out of this swamp here. I caught one right over there in the um, in the dive set. I've caught one right up there in the snare. All the other ones have been right here, just one by one, picking them off, coming in this old dilapidated looking lodge, but I'm not gonna complain. Not what I was going for, but you know it's warm. That sucker's still alive too. You know it's warm when you start catching snapping turtles. Well, that wraps things up for today. A much slower day than we've had the last few uh, days or the last week, but um, that's kind of to be expected, especially when most of the catch is made up of raccoons. You know, that's one thing that you can come in and, you know, kind of hit the cream of the crop and pretty early and, uh, you know, they'd be done and move on. So, you know, if I was solely targeting coons, I'd be packing things up and going, uh, you know, setting some new ground every four or five days um, but I'm gonna hang in here and see if I can pull some more coyotes and maybe a bobcat or something out of here I'm not gonna complain about the low catch day today it is Valentine's Day so that'll uh, play in my favor um, as far as getting to spend some time with the family tonight and, you know that's one thing I don't I don't know about y'all but I don't give enough credit to my wife she uh she puts up with a lot this time of year and a lot of uh me skinning and not you know being outside working in the fur shed and setting traps and all and not spending a lot of time with them i try to still make time and and uh you know it's it's a balancing act and but uh you know the time's winding down on trapping season so that's uh trying to get in every last bit i can but i uh like I said, don't give, don't give her enough credit for, for uh, the skunk smell that's in the whole yard because of my skunk essence and the carcasses that are laying in the side yard that I hadn't taken off yet and coming in at 10 or 11 o'clock and getting a shower and going to bed because I've been out skinning. So just remember that on, on Valentine's Day. Of course, y'all will be watching this after Valentine's Day, the day after. But anyway, maybe... Uh, I'm gonna try to get some more sets out, some new sets out this weekend and uh, take you along on that. So otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.